So I'm over here on our land in Alabama today, uh, bush hogging here, getting ready for deer season. There's one of our shooting houses here. This front section up here where I'm at now, started at, is uh, 96 acres, and then there's a 50 acre block, and then there's a 77 acre block. They all three joined. They were bought at three different times, but they were they joined. It's bush hogging out good, doing real good, as you can see on the uh, GoPro footage on the tractor up there. I uh, messed up big time. I should have came over here and sprayed this summer. And uh, I will be over here next year, 2020, spraying this because this is ridiculous, man. The Look how tall. That stuff's taller than a tractor is just about it right there. And it has been... <laughs> it has been so far dry and very dusty. But uh, 5075E has no trouble clipping it and that's a seven foot bush hog brand bush hog it's a two it's a model number on it's a 297 and it's very heavy duty it'll it'll get the job done about whatever you want to feed through it it'll take it it doesn't really matter to it but well i still got a ways to go i don't think i'll get her all done uh today because this is a what we call a hub and a spoke you got a spoke right here that'll be disking up and planting you got a spoke right here that'll be disked up and planted. There's one right there for number three. And there's one just on the other side of that private hedge for number four. And then there's one that runs down that away for number five. Hub and spokes work very well deer hunting uh, because you're not looking at a gigantic field. You're looking at lanes. This one right here is two lanes wide. This one right here is about three. This one right here is about five lanes wide. And so what the deer will do, and that one over there is about three, and that one over there is two, but what the deer will do is they'll cut across these things down there from you. And you can, uh, you see a deer, and if it's a shooter or something you want to shoot, you can just get ready for it to come into the next lane and uh, whack it when it walks out. I did have connecting links on every one of these things, these fields here, uh, a couple of years ago when I built these fields in 2017, it's now 2019, but Lord have mercy, they have done jungled up. I didn't do anything over here last year. I was pretty aggravated with some stuff that was going on, uh, and I just, I didn't hunt any at all. I didn't even, I didn't even pull my gun out the first time last year. And sometimes it be like that, you know what I mean? You get, you get frustrated with stuff, things going on, and and I just, I did a bunch of traveling during the winter. I'll still travel this winter, but I am going to hunt some uh, more than what I did last year, which was actually none. And I'm not sure, I can't remember how many fields we've got. We've got one, two, three on this front, and there's three or four on the back, back there too. Uh, so I'm going to just stop, finish off my water bottle here right quick, and uh, I'm going to jump back on the tractor. I'm going to have to stop and give me some fuel here in just a second but uh get going i'm gonna knock these one two three three more spokes out right quick before i go get some fuel from my truck up there
<laughs> so, bush hogging videos everywhere, all right? Oh, uh, this is some new stuff that Milwaukee sent me right here. That's the uh, switch tank, the four gallon backpack sprayer right there. You got it. And then this is the uh, pole saw right here, pruning saw, uh, 18 volt. That's what it is. I would get it out and play with it tomorrow in the woods, but uh, my truck, I got to put my truck in the shop. I've got to have brakes on it all the way around. Actually, the back ones are wore out more than the front ones are, but I'm going to go ahead and replace them all the way around it because it's got 106,000 miles on it now. And the, my back ones wore out before my front ones do because of how much I pull that gooseneck. And, uh, and my goal one was the same way. Uh, I would get, uh, which I mean, that's 105, 6, 106,000 miles. And that's the original brakes that was on that truck. So tomorrow, they're going to pick my truck up tomorrow, going to put brakes on it and do a full service on it. Also going to change front and rear chunk oil and transfer case, transmission. Everything will be going through on the truck uh, tomorrow. And so I'm going to be in my Jeep tomorrow in the woods. So that's why I'm not going to get this thing out yet. Uh, this is a another cell phone case from my phone I'm gluing. I like to glue the metal plates on them with a goop and uh, that way they never come off because I have trouble with them coming off if I don't glue them on there. I uh, get uh, asked about yellow jackets and stuff like that while I'm bush hogging. Uh, occasionally I'll get in them. I've been stung before, things like that, but uh, it's been a long time since I've been in them. I've been in them on a bulldozer, run through them and get eat up by them and... and uh, there's been a few times I've been on a bush hog and, and they've got me, but it's been a while. Uh, the, the, we're, I'm about doing, doing bush hog and stuff. I got a little bit more to go, but, and then, uh, when I move those logs, those dead trees and stuff out of the road with a bucket, there's been several people say that, uh, I need a rake, you know, a grapple rake, which I have one. I just don't like to run it when I'm bush hogging. I can move those trees with the bucket fine. And, uh, I just, I don't like, I don't like that grapple rake on the front of the tractor while I'm bush hogging. It's, uh, the grapple rake is a little bit wider than my tractor is. And I wish I wouldn't have got it like that. I wish I would have got it. My tractor six foot wide and got the grapple rake six foot wide instead. So, uh, but I mean, it's a handy tool. I just don't like to bush hog with it in those tight places like where I'm at. And, uh, and no, I don't need a bat wing either because my God, I would never get that thing turned around in those places. Uh, it'd take me forever to turn that thing around. So I just do it the best way for me to do it and uh and all that i am just about done with the landscaping job too i worked on it all weekend this weekend well i did a tree job saturday morning landscaping job saturday afternoon and then back on the landscaping job again i'm taking this next weekend off i'm not doing anything so hope y'all have a good week uh jay uh, they took, uh, Janice texted me this afternoon and they took his breathing tube out. So she said, you know, she told me that. And so hopefully maybe with that, maybe my next update, it'll be a little bit better. Hopefully it will. So, uh, appreciate everybody thinking about them and, and all that. So, uh, y'all check this later taters out right quick. So